The NCAA basketball tournament starts with 68. The NCAA hockey tournament gets right to the Sweet 16. Aaron Ward, Stanley Cup champion, Barry Melrose. Breaking down the field of 16, we begin with the number one overall seed, the Boston College Eagles. No surprise, strong team. Chris Kreider, future New York Ranger, number 19. Of course, Jerry York, a coaching legend. There's Kreider right there. And Boston College will not have to go far for their regional. Just 31 miles as the Seagull flies to Worcester, Massachusetts. And Aaron Ward, you think this Boston College Eagle team can go all the way? Yeah, they are my pick. Uh, Jerry York has luxury of depth on his team, whether it's putting out the first line or the fourth line. There is full trust that this team will get the job done. That's the Northeast Regional. On to the Midwest Regional. Michigan, number two overall seed, the top seed in Green Bay. The team really woke up when John Merrill came off after suspension in the Christmas break. David Wahlberg, Alex Guppel, Chris Brown, they are really potent line. And of course, Sean Hunwick, the goaltender, with the five feet seven, gives their team a chance to win it every single night. Michigan, very, they're looking at Ferris State, Denver, and Cornell in their region. And what about Denver? Well, Denver just had some bad news. Their best player, Jason Zucker, left the last game they played in the third period with an upper body injury. Their chances are going to probably be determined if he can come back and play. If he can't, it's going to be very tough to compete with the big boy that's your best player out of the lineup. Back to the East and Bridgeport, Connecticut, our next regional, the East Regional Union, is on top. No scholarship players. Very similar to the Ivy League teams. Jeremy Welsh, their big gun. Troy Grosinick, an excellent goaltender. Rick Bennett took over for coach Nate Lehman. Lehman went to Providence. He did a great job. Bennett takes over, and he wins the ECAC Coach of the Year. As we head to Bridgeport, Connecticut, take a look at this region. Their first matchup, Michigan State. What about that Miami-UMass Lowell matchup on the bottom, Barry? I, I like this bracket for Union. I think it's the weakest bracket of the four. I think Union has a chance of coming out there. I love Grosnick, a guy that might win the Holby Baker this year. Played one game last year. But Miami should be the favorite. They have the history. Uh, they've been to the pros in four before. Rico Blasi is a great coach and experienced coach. So that's going to be a wide open bracket. One more regional to go. The West in St. Paul. And boy, it was North Dakota a dominant team late in the WCHA as they barrel over their competition as North Dakota heads to the tournament and Aaron Ward, maybe one key player on offense and defense for North Dakota. Well, for uh, for the offense, it's uh, Brock Nelson, sophomore leading scorer, 27 goals in the season. This guy will be continued to be relied upon to see how he battles through these tougher games. And on D, comes down to Derek Forbert, a guy that had basically the weekend of his year or his career stepping up, leading and scoring as a defenseman in the WCHA Final Five. So 16 teams playing for one championship with Frozen Four this year is in Tampa, Florida. Gary Thorne and Barry Melrose on the call there. Meanwhile, ESPNU has all your regional and national semifinal action. We'll see you at the rink.